We all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Hadouken! Or the stone pudding or something. I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of fig leaf. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pants. Your soul is mine. By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Why so serious? Riddle me this. I haven't had a lot of company in a long time, but if I were expecting some, I'd whip up a really uh, substantial meal. You see how strong I am? <laughs> From eating all of this stuff. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. Hold on, Ray. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. Riddle me this. So Why so serious? Yomi got it! Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. By your powers combined, riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Why 
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. You seem to be well grounded in the case file. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pipes. Or the stone pudding or something. I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of fig leaf. Riddle me this. Your soul is mine. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Riddle me this. So fine. Could be more to the case than me. What is up, guys? Episode 5 of Otaku Jump Podcast. Uh, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. We are available in audio format as well, if, if that's what you prefer. Uh, Spotify, Google Podcast, Stitcher, Anchor, Radio Public, all those other options will be in the description. This is the 23rd of the month. So this is where our last episode of the month. Episode six will be next month. Also, we got our uh, little uh, co-host here. I am Soul. Um, if you've missed the uh, videos on Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, and One Piece, be sure to like those videos because those came out this weekend. Uh, we had anime Sunday football, I call it. You know, so it was a lot a busy weekend. Uh, let's do quick uh, intros here. Go ahead, Eisen. <clears throat> What's good, everybody? Just Get through all this content and just have fun tonight. All right, Omega. Hey, everybody. Uh, just glad to be here and uh, just want to represent for uh, the, all the nerds out there and the blurs. We going in. <laughs> all right. Uh, Adias. Adias, you there? What's up, everyone? I hope everyone's having a good night. Got a great show for you. Stay tuned. All right, Smith, uh, Swift. Yo, what's good, everybody? Let's just have fun. 
All right, Lawrence. So I was gonna say something about the old nigga being last in the line, but I see somebody trunks just popped in. So I'm just gonna say, "What's up? Welcome to Gotham." <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gotham. <laughs> oh, man. Like, do you want? The... All right, okay, okay. all right. Tr- oh, he got the award for best intro. All right, go trunks. Damn, even the Windows XP guys got here before me. Well, um, hope everyone has a great show, has a great time here. Um, yeah, let's get into the articles. All right, so we got the Nerd Pill poll. So one of the last polls we had a week ago was the most anticipated movie of this year. Of course, honorable mentions, as always, uh, with a total of 90 votes. So shout out to 90 of you who uh, got involved on the polls. So we got Thor, Love and Thunder, 11%. Uh, Doctor Strange the in the Multiverse of Madness, 48%, which won the poll. The Batman, 17%. Black Adam, 4%. And Spider-Man uh, Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, 20%. So interesting uh, votes there. And then our last one we had just yesterday, which, I mean, you all killed it on the polls. Like almost 120 votes just yesterday. So you guys are getting involved. I like that. So this one was Best Anime Film of Last Year. Uh, we had My Hero Academia. Uh, World Heroes Mission, 4%. Now, that could be higher because uh, the English dub did not come out in the States. So if you voted for that, you probably watched just the Japanese version. So when that comes out, I could, I could see that being way higher. Uh, we had Gintama, the final, with 5% for our Gint, uh, Gintama fans. Of course, dominating the poll was uh, Demon Slayer, um, you can train movie. And then uh, we had uh, Evangelion 3.0. Um, Try Us Upon a Time with 6%, and last but not least, with only 1%, was Mobile Suit Gundam uh, Hathaway, which came out on Netflix last year, which I'm actually surprised, only 1%, so I guess uh, that's not good for a Gundam film, because they're supposed to have uh, a whole trilogy coming out for that. Uh, So those were our polls uh, for this episode. Like I said, uh, we do polls every weekend, we cover them on the podcast. Alright, so our first uh, article here, we're going to be talking about Moon Knight. Um, you know, this was kind of a big deal uh, for this these past couple of weeks. Um, so I think this is um, we a lot of us got this one. We got Omega got one, uh, Lawrence got one. Uh, a lot of us covered this. So of course the the Moon Knight trailer came out. Uh, go ahead, uh, Omega. I think this was yours, and I'll just go behind you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So. I'm pretty sure everyone is uh, hyped right now for the Moon Knight trailer coming out. Um, definitely, uh, it looks to be uh, very thrilling and almost a psychological roller coaster too, because this character uh, throughout the Marvel's um, history has had like uh, various uh, personas about him. Um, I just going to read a little bit from the article um, where it's stating that uh, some eagle eyed fans believe they caught a Fantastic Four Easter egg in the Moon Knight trailer. One moment in the trailer saw Oscar Isaac Stephen Grant driving a truck with the logo on a cardboard box behind the driver's seat reading Von D. In a possible nod to Victor Von Doom, a.k.a. Dr. Doom, of course, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has already confirmed the Fantastic Four are on their way to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Spider-Man director John Watts will helm that project, and a logo has already been revealed. So it's possible Moon Knight will have a connection to Marvel's first family, but right now it remains to be seen. Uh, me personally, I just know that it seems like New York should be the most protected place on earth <laughs> because right. so many superheroes are there. Right. Like, if I was a villain, I would go to Jersey or something because there's no, like, I don't think, well, who knows? But the main thing is Moon Knight is going to be definitely taking over the night shift. Right, uh, so we're gonna go to the next one. Uh, same, same Moon Knight thing. Uh, go ahead, Lawrence. Covers the same thing. 
and I'll give my two cents after you. Oh yeah, um, one one of the main actors to the show um, passed away uh, a few days ago in a skiing accident. Um, he was playing a, a a character that I'm I'm not too familiar with, un- unless they changed him from from the comic itself, and he's supposed to be somebody else. But uh, that that's all I really got. Um, it was interesting because it couldn't have been more than a day or two after the trailer dropped. Mm-hmm. And then to suddenly get that kind of news um, is kind of crazy. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I, they haven't said anything about replacing him. But of course, they're going to have to. Um, right. But outside of that, that's 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 all I really got on it. Okay. Uh, he was he was 37. Um, they uh, tried to transport him to the hospital, but he died en route, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, do you have any opinion on this the Moon Knight show coming out? There any like excitement, or are you? Uh, what's your expectations from that? You think? Well, to be honest, I'm interested, but only because there's a uh, <laughs> there's always been a running joke that Moon Knight is is Marvel's idea of Batman, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's I think what makes him a compelling character is the fact that he's gets a he's I'm sorry not good he's had he has multiple personality disorder. He has like three or four different personalities inside of him. Um, one's a cab driver, one's a millionaire, and so on and so. I think it's like three. I can't remember what the third one was, but um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm interested. I, I give it that. I'm interested. Um, um, Isaac, Oscar Isaac, is that that his name, or is it the other way around? I, no, Isaac, you got it right. Oscar, Oscar right. Isaac, yeah. Um, if I'm correct, that was the dude from Star Wars, wasn't he? Yeah. And he's been in uh, yeah. X Men Apocalypse. That's Apocalypse. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well. Hopefully he'll. <laughs> hopefully he'll have more stuff to bite into than he did in those last ones. So <laughs> that's that, that's all I really got. <coughs> right. Right. Um. So once again, you know, a lot. We had to look at what happened last year with Disney Plus shows. Now were were all of them like golden, like great shows? I mean, they had their hits or misses, they had the pros and cons. So I'm not about to just get hype off one trailer, be like, oh, this is going to be a 10 out of 10. Nope. You know, when it comes to these things, you just, you get excited, but then let's just see how the show's actually going to be. Um, I think they said it's getting like, what, six episodes, maybe? So maybe like an hour for each episode or something like that? Maybe six, I, I, eight episodes? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know anything yeah, about I it. I haven't, correct. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah I, haven't, I haven't seen the trailer. And as far as it goes for the other shows, I got to be honest, I haven't watched those either. Mm-hmm. And I, I did hear, um, I think Omega, you did mention it, um, that he has like different personalities, kind of like a Sensui from New Hog Show kind of. So, you know, yeah. there might be an episode where they focus on one personality, maybe, or the other personality and a couple other, another episode. That could be really cool. Uh, I could see that. Um, and you got to remember, um, this is on Disney Plus, so... You know, this is it's not Netflix. Or how much blood are we going to see? Because it looks like they're trying to make it pretty grounded and serious. But once again, I mean, is it going to be to the point of like maybe Winter Soldier, Falcon Winter Soldier serious or Loki serious? We'll have to see on that. But I'm excited. I believe. Uh, but let's just see. That's uh, my, if my I thoughts. might just add, huh? Uh, just a short amount of information. That character is going to i believe revolve a lot around ancient things as far as like you know the the origin i won't get too much in depth about it but um this is a power that derives from egypt and i believe it's right. supposed to be Khonshu, a god of the moon so it, it, it's it's I, I expect for us to see a lot of artifacts from like ancient times as well so Okay. Just thought I'd add that. Uh, what do you think, Isaac? Yeah. Um, I hadn't really, I hadn't seen the trailer. Um, I, to be honest, I don't really know a whole lot about Moon Knight, and I, you know, I don't know how it's gonna do. Um, it seems to me these shows on Disney Plus haven't really been that great. The only thing they've had on there that's done good has been, um, uh, the Mandalorian, um, mm-hmm. so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I I'm not sold yet. So um, yeah, and especially on the the Marvel universe on their content. So I, I don't know. It's uh, after Endgame and what 
Spider-Man, the last one that well, we dealt with. This wasn't even the last one that I think that was with Sony. That wasn't even Marvel. So yeah, it's uh, I think I don't know. I think it's pretty done. We're gonna and we're gonna have a lot of crap movies, so <laughs> right. Uh what do you think, Swift? Uh, no comment really. This is my first time here on Moon Knight, so I can't really give an opinion on it. Okay. Uh, Trunks, what do you think? Did you see the Moon Knight trailer or anything? Thoughts on Moon Knight coming out? Um, I truly haven't, so... Okay. Uh, ideas, yeah. anything on this? Can't give my thoughts. Yeah, I got a little bit. Um, I didn't know anything about this movie. I heard it was coming. I thought it would be a show. Um, I didn't even know they found a star for it. And uh, I know who Gasford is, you know, very young guy. Um not a lot of well-seen work so this movie was really going to expose him to a wider audience than his past roles so i'm just someone that left a little too early in my opinion mm-hmm. in terms of the movie i really don't really don't give a shit i'm not a marvel guy okay i get you all right so next up i think uh trunks this is from you and i think eisen you got a, a shinmu too right and i think omega three of you guys did i think yeah, yeah, me too. I, I noticed this. Shit. Yeah. So, uh, Shenmue anime yeah, premieres uh, February fifth on uh, Crunchyroll. Go ahead, Trunks. All right. So, um, this basically just caught my attention. Like, I read the plot of it. Um, this guy basically goes down to uh, find his father's killer or something like that. I didn't look too deep into it, but it was enough to add to my watch list, and I thought it was interesting. Yeah, even me. I this caught my attention too because. I've heard of Shenmue for a while. I think there's a strong fan base from from the gaming world too. I think the I think the new games came, like uh, remakes came. I think recently, yeah. maybe a couple yeah. years ago. Oh uh, yeah, all it was was a game. Yeah, right. a remake. And I heard oh, there was yeah. a lot actually, of hype uh, on it. Yeah, they actually raised like six they, they million dollars in Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, six million dollars. That's like that's a lot. That's a lot of money. And you know, for us who are anime watchers, this is great for me because I've, I've always heard about it, but I never consumed um, this type of content. So I'm definitely going to be watching this on Crunchyroll because I just hear, I keep hearing good things about for it. Sure. So um, I'm glad it's, it's being created. Uh, Isaac, anything on this one? Uh, yeah. Also um, to note that on February 6th, it will also uh, be on Adult Swim. Um, they're trying to, <laughs> since, huh. you know, they've been failing, you know, over there on Cartoon Network, uh, they're trying to get Toonami going again. Mm-hmm. So um, I think with this and Bleach and others coming out this year, uh, um, they're trying to uh, make a nab to get um, you know viewers and content back on Cartoon Network mm-hmm. again by using uh, Toonami like they did in the past. Um, I'm not sure how it'll go. I think um, I, you know I, I think it, I think the timing I think the time is too bad. Whenever they you know introduce Toonami originally you know it was daytime you know it was after school and then they're doing it here you know on adult swim so i'm thinking it's a shot in the dark man i don't know if it's going to work out but as far as for tsunami but i think that um i think shimmy will do pretty good uh it was a great game uh back in the day real fun um so i'm interested to see what they do um you know with the uh what they're going to do with the uh anime here Mm -hmm. what are your thoughts uh omega My thoughts um, are going to be, uh, I think this is going to be uh, a big hit. I mean, for the, alone, the massive crowdfunding and then the fans. Um, and I've actually played the first Shin move, which it, its gameplay was so remarkable, but the detailing of that time and the era of Hong Kong was just amazing. Like, you could go on Google and look at some of the, like structures and everything and it's it looks like exactly what it was at that time in that era um as far as the gameplay and the fighting style to me like (laughs) it's gonna be interesting (coughs) watching like the anime go from like possibly a monday because like it was like almost like a simulation where you did regular things throughout the day like if you actually had a job or you know so you want to go fishing but uh shinmu's uh ryo uh his 
fighting technique was kind of like off the chain. Like, I mean, I think it was based off of the martial arts of uh, karate and uh, jujitsu. No, no, I think it was judo. But uh, yeah, I, I I think this is gonna be something where like people will have to watch over <laughs> maybe two or three times again. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything on this, Lawrence? Or oh, Shadow? Um, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know anything about it to be quite honest with you. Um, I will say, um, I agree with what um Eisen was saying about them trying to use it as an attempt to uh do tsunami. I, I, I just, I just don't think it's gonna work. Um, <clears throat> tsunami was a very special thing. Said it like, like Eisen says, said at specific times of the day. Um, then they're, they're not. That, yeah, I, I I think what I worry about, even though I don't know this, I worry about the same thing I worry about with anything of importance in pop culture, that <clears throat> when they bring it, they're going to make so many changes to it. It's it's just going to annoy fans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. that's really all I have. Okay. It's a funny um, thing. Oh, um, I had something um, I wanted to just oh, correct about yeah. that. Ryo style is jujitsu and karate. Just want to get that correct. Okay. Uh, were you saying something, Trunks, before I get to Swift? Oh, no, that's literally what I was about to say. Oh, okay. Okay. What, <laughs> Thank what, you. What, yeah. Go ahead, Swift. Oh, <laughs> um, but wait, wait, wait. There's also like one, just like one quick thing. If you like uh, season two of One Punch Man, um, Shenmue the animation is actually just going to be directed by the same guy. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is cool. Okay, uh, yeah. they're the same one that um did Bob Psycho, right? Oh, uh, I believe so. Yeah, that I, okay, yeah, that's cool. definitely cuz their animation is definitely All right, so good news, good news. Okay. All right, so go ahead. What's your thoughts? I personally haven't seen a video game get adapted into an anime, so it's going to be interesting on how the story builds in an anime versus a video game and whether which one is better. Because usually either one's really good or one's really bad or both are mediocre. Stuff like that. Yeah, good point. That's true. We'll have to see um, how this performs. What do you think, uh, Diaz? Yeah, uh, I'm really, really excited for this. So for context, it mm -hmm. is just an adaptation of the first game. So it, depending on how reception goes, you know, we'll get a continuation from Shinmu 2 and Shinmu 3. If you ever played the game, um, you know that the story never finished after Shinmu 3. So a lot of fans are hoping for a continuation of the story, you know, with this anime. And it's not a bunch of filler like it was in some of the games. I think that the story will be either really competent or a nonstop meme fest. <laughs> and the art style even looks a bit like Attack on Titan. So we're going to get some really great combat scenes. Um, you know, it's already been spoken to the actual martial arts that go into it. So this mm -hmm. is going to be really hype, something I'm really excited for. Um, yeah. What is one thing I wanted to say? Oh, and if this succeeds, then uh, be on the lookout for a Yakuza uh, anime as well. Woo! You know what? Yeah, yeah. I could totally see that being an anime, actually. Yes. I that, that is a story-based game, I mean, for the most part. It is story structures. Like, that, that's more story than gameplay, actually. So I could totally see that. That's a good point. All right. Uh, go ahead, Swift, and I think uh, Trunks. Go ahead, Swift. Yeah, so this one's just talking about the most popular in each. Basically, One Piece everywhere. I remember Texas. That's like the largest state. Yeah, Anyways, right. like One Piece, that's the most searched in any state in the U.S., which is not surprising. Considering you can ask even a random person about One Piece, and they already know it's about a show with a thousand episodes, so that's not too surprising. Then others were like Naruto, I think. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting one more, maybe One Punch Man. Uh, My Hero Academia, One Piece, Shishu Kaisen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you, are you leaving out no, yeah, no. Pokemon? Oh shit! All right. Oh, I'm, we don't. I'm not having Pokemon. Uh, hey, look, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you gotta. Run it, but hey, that's what it's saying up there. That's all I know. Yeah, I get that. The reason why I don't count Pokemon is because you still got like little kids in elementary school watching it. So, of course, they're going to be searching that up. 
I can't imagine too too many adults unless they're like really into a church and go to you know. I could be wrong, but um, I I just wanted to quickly interject and just say that um, for Pokemon, I feel like um, they they might be searching it because like of the games, not because of like the actual series. Because this is just my searches alone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's weird how, because we, you were talking about this before, Trunks, how California is all Sailor Moon. Like, why do you think they're searching yeah, for Sailor Moon? that just surprised me. I, I don't uh, know. I think, like, I, I, man, I don't I'm going to have to hold the L because I'm in California. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would understand if there's, wait, like, a wait, new wait, anime I feel or something. though that it might be because they revamped, uh, they, they did a, a renewal of Sailor Moon, I believe. Yeah, there was a new one that came it's out. It's like a new one, so... And Bro, um, it used to I, air I, I, a lot. <laughs> uh, what do you I say? I think Trump? it used to air a lot for uh, LA. I, I forget what station it was. I, I don't know if it was on Fox 11, but I believe they aired it a lot in the mornings. Like some Sailor Moon had got pushed around like a lot of the uh, the channels that we get in California. Like I think usually during the the mornings. Mm-hmm. What were you gonna but, say, uh, Trump? Didn't, yep. uh, <coughs> didn't like Yoshihiro Togashi's wife make like Sailor Moon? I don't know. I am not the sure. The guy who made Hunter Hunter, like, didn't his wife make Sailor Moon? Not sure. I like, I heard something like that. Yeah, no idea. I don't know though. I'm still waiting uh, on. Uh, that. Still waiting on <laughs> Hunter Hunter to get released <sighs> off of hiatus, but. Man, I don't know. Just, I, I don't know. I'm disappointed that Sailor Moon. I thought it was gonna be like One Piece or Naruto or or something like good. I honestly or, thought or it would have been One Piece, on but it's not. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Eisen, any thoughts on that? Man. Um, no, nothing. No, nothing really. Um, I mean, One Piece is still ongoing, so I guess you know there's a reason for it. But uh, no, no real thoughts on it. Okay, how about you, Lawrence? Anything in the last one? Um, I get uh, I, I get One Piece. I I mean, I mean, I got grown children and grandchildren, and they all love that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Sailor Sailor Moon. I I don't I'm not sure, but isn't doesn't California have like the largest concentration of uh, Japanese people in the country? Could that be why Sailor Bro, Moon? Bro, we have the largest concentration of like all Asian people in the country. No, I know, I know, yeah. but I'm saying across the country, yeah, I think we the, do the, have I think the, the I think the largest percentage is in California. I could be wrong, but I'm wondering if that's uh, what the no, popularity it is, it is. is. So that might be what the popularity of Sailor Moon is. Sailor Moon goes back a long way. Yeah. Um, she's she's almost up there with um, Hello Kitty and stuff like that. Yeah, you're um, right. And she's old. Oh, yeah, and as far as it goes. Through, <laughs> As far as it goes for Hello Pokemon, Kitty, the next hit shown in anime. Yeah, as far as it goes for Pokemon, I would agree. I would agree as the game because that's the only game yeah, that I exactly. actually. That's the only Man. game I actually still play, and I do search. Yeah. I do searches online for it all the time. I really do. I yeah, they right. should. They should take that out. Like people yeah, aren't yeah, searching yeah. for it because of the series. Like they should have just like replaced Pokemon with whatever came in second. Well, the way they. <laughs> The way the way it was set up, if I remember correctly, you could always distinguish the game from the actual show because if you wanted the game, you had to type in Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, uh, you're right. Instead, instead of because like I said, I I play the game every day, every yeah. day. So so when I do searches, I search about Pokemon what? Go. So I, wait, I wait, Pokemon Go. I thought like they would. Actually, never mind. Well, I guess so. Uh... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of new advertising for like Pokemon games coming out for the Switch. Mm. I don't know if y'all have gone that. Yeah, we got. That. We're actually going to talk about that. Uh, Adias, what's your thoughts on that? I, I didn't get your thoughts yet. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, on the anime stuff, I, I really don't. I really don't have um uh, anything pressing to say on it. Okay, and a uh, quick shout out to Dane, uh, Juan G's. What's up, Sigma, the Black Samurai? What's going on, J Wolf, the Wolf Band? What is up? All right. So uh, next, My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble game announced uh, this year's seven issue of 
uh, Weekly Shonen Jump revealed on Monday that My Hero Academia franchise is getting another game called Ultra Rumble. So the game will be free to play, available on PS4, or uh, LS4 for some of y'all, uh, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC, um, and uh, of course Bandai Namco is developing the game. Now there is gameplay available on YouTube. Uh, if you're interested, check it out. Um, my thing is, it's free to play, so I don't. I guess I mean I'm not gonna really complain about it. Um, but I wasn't really impressed by what I saw. Looks like it's gonna be free to play, and then you're gonna like monetize different items in the game. I don't know who was asking for this, but uh, you know at least it's gonna be multiplayer and it's free to play. So um, that's my thoughts on it. I don't, you know, that's my thoughts. So I'm not gonna. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. Same with uh, Dragon Ball Breakers. Um, that's my thoughts. But people kept talking about it, so I'm like, all right, I guess this might be a big deal to some people. Um, anything on this, Trunks? My Hero Academia having a, a free to play? Um, I mean, you said it's going to be available on, wait, wait, what platforms again? PS4? Yeah, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, PC, everything, pretty much. And it's going to be free. Free to play, but I think they're trying to, they're going to try to monetize you when in game. Ah, okay. Man, those those in-game purchases. Okay, yeah. Right. Um I mean, I, I at least it's not a mobile game. I'll I'll give it points for that. Yeah. I totally agree. Like we covered before. Well, yeah, yeah. Um I don't know. I think they should honestly just slap a sticker price on it and not I don't know, make like a bunch of in-game purchases because they have to like recoup the money from it somehow. Like they probably invested like a lot of like time and money and like the skills of like all like the programmers and whatnot into this and creating the storyline of the game whatnot yeah they have to like recoup the money somehow and my guess it's yeah it's just going to be a bunch of in-game purchases right i don't, Costumes, know, I don't think they should do that yeah. i think they should just have like a flat even sticker price on it it just kind of shows that they're desperate in my opinion yeah, I mean, they're trying to copy a lot of other games. And, you know, this free to play thing is definitely a, it's a pro and con to it, I would say. Um, what do you think, uh, Diaz, on the new game uh, announced? Um, yeah, I, I got a few things to say. Um, I'm not a fan of BR games. You know, it's actually a cool idea for this series, but I would much rather they make an RPG where you can build out your own character based on a quirk or two. I mm. think there are so many events in the story where you can insert a random character or even explore completely different cities or things like that. I just think it's a shame that, you know, the biggest anime of this generation is getting weak ass games. <laughs> but, you know, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a very good point, though. Um, you know, there's, this could have been like kind of like a Xenoverse type setup. You know, there's I mean, you could totally just make a hero and be in the world. That would have been a cool uh, little um, game right there. I, I, good point. What do you think, Swift? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. There you go. I think it's working now. All right. But um, actually, for, for from what they produced from the past two games, I think this is smart because it gauges where the audience is at. Mm -hmm. Being that it's a free game, so they can get away with all the bugs, all the glitches, the floatiness, like how it was in the past two games. So they're just trying to gauge where what they can do, basically. And then they'll release another game, like probably like Adiza said, to where you can have your own your own quirk, travel around, all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, anything on this, Lawrence? <clears throat> no, no, I got nothing. Okay. Anything on this Omega? What do you think? Um, I don't have anything. I've only seen, like, gameplay footage mm -hmm. from the first one. So it does look kind of fast paced and fun uh, I'm kind of like I, I do enjoy a lot of fighting games but for this to be like a battle royale style um, I don't know I, I guess we'll just have to see I'm with you on that uh, what do you think uh, Isa um, I think the reason why they do in game purchase crap is because people are stupid and they will buy it <laughs> If they uh, didn't yeah. do it, they, I mean, <laughs> if that weren't the case, they wouldn't have that. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I really don't expect a, a whole lot um, from it. Um, 
I mean, it, I don't expect much out of anime games except for them to be mostly fighting games. I mean, the only RPG style we've had is Xenoverse. I don't think <laughs> think they care to bring you anything else. So. <clears throat> I agree. I agree with that. Um, and sadly, it's like if you want an anime game, you might as well just get a, a good JRPG. You know, like once again, Tales of Arise is one of the best JRPGs of last year, and along with uh, Cold Steel Four, one of the best JRPGs of last year. Those two were big bangers and shit. I mean, those were great games, and they had anime style, you know, elements to it. Uh, this is uh, go ahead, go ahead, Isaac. This is you yours, I think. All right, uh, so um, this uh, basically says that, you know, uh, Viz Media launches its official um, uh, Shonen Jump Store um, specifically uh, to the U.S., um, and they're going to start it off with One Piece, uh, Shonen Jump, and Bleach brands. Um, it's not really a surprise. Uh, they, they've they made all kind of money for Shonen Jump, so I wouldn't expect anything less than it to be um, – you know, One Piece and Shonen Jump and, and Bleach, um, especially with the uh, <clears throat> with the new uh, Thousand Year Blood War uh, arc uh, coming up here in uh, October. So I think they're trying to, you know, jump ahead here and uh, cash in. Okay, so I got to say something, man. What's up with this guy's face? I mean, how much did he get paid to do this? Can he smile? God damn, he looks depressed. Man, come on, soul man. man look. No, 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 no. Look, look how he, man, he, he look, look, look how he bent no, his arm I, behind his back. He, he doesn't look confident. I at get all. what you're saying, but but this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm gonna go with it. Uh-huh. Man, like even in my body. day, even in my day, brothers did not smile in pictures. Okay. So what you think? I'm just saying. You think they but found him like depressing. at the gym, or was he like maybe trying to do? I don't think they do... found him on a bad day. <laughs> like, I don't know. He just looks like he's about to. Bro, he looks man. dead. This is non anime fan. I can already tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh hey, my look, god. I, I was right. gonna say, look, look. I was gonna just say this right here. Uh-huh. I don't know if this dude could have a good day, but anyway. <laughs> oh, oh hey. god, it's fucking brutal. Well, Swift, do you it's think this over. guy can um Holy make a jump shot or not? What do you think? Over. Think he could do a jump shot? Honestly, though, it's outside hmm. like, I think this that's how he looks. People, some people just have that resting face. Damn, Bro, they should have picked somebody else. I don't think he's mad. I don't think he's sad either. <laughs> I know, right? They should have picked someone else. I mean, I don't know why this. They're so excited about this, but people have been making this merchandise for years, so I don't understand, like, you know, the big hype. I, 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 to me, that's not the that's not even the most pertinent question. The, the thing is, why they got him in that shirt with that little bitty, that little bitty, <laughs> that little bitty thing right there? I mean, so it, it doesn't even draw you to the shirt, to the product at all. Right. I mean, because there's nothing there, it draws you to that funny looking rascal. So, but anyway, let me <laughs> yeah, let me stop. Uh, what, what do you think, Omega? Let me stop roasting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I. Uh... As far as the, the depressed look, but <laughs> let's get beyond that. Um, no, I, I I believe all this stuff has been out already, so I don't know. That's that's where I'm at with it. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that. Uh, what do you think, uh, Lawrence, on the Shonen Jump merchandise? Nope. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, uh, Swift. What do you think? I mean, it's just, it's not something I wear. That's, that's not me. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. But I guess for, like, some try-hard people, the weird kid at school, you know, they got that, I guess. I God will damn. accommodate, like, a mug or something. Like, if it's a mug, uh, <laughs> you mug said, and socks. So I, you said this I, is, I like, weird for weird personnel, basically? That's what you said? I mean, <laughs> for the most part, like... I, I mean, at least from what I see, at least from what I see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, like you ever see to see a girl with like a My Hero shirt on? That's like a red flag. Uh, yeah, yeah, are you yeah, saying? Yeah, talk. What? Hey, Slip, are you but, saying those are the same people that put their arms behind their back and do the Naruto run? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. What, what do you think of this? Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, I don't think much. I think it's cool that Shonen Jump gets a store. All right, all right. Uh, 
Uh, Trunks, what do you think? Honestly, um, I, I don't know. I, I prefer to get my anime work, merch uh, elsewhere. <laughs> right. All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't. Their designs, like, I don't know. Just, like, a little bit too simple for me. I like something that's, like, a little bit more graphic. I'm with you on that. It looks a little bit uh, plain. Uh, go ahead, uh, Lawrence. Yeah. Out there. So where do y'all get your anime merch from? Just wondering. I don't have any. Amazon. There, there's. I, got, I, I, I can hear you now. I, well, yeah. Let me answer. I, I go to. I have like a certain store that sells um shirts. But go ahead, uh, Lars. I can hear you oh, now. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Um. Yet another character is suddenly changed to being part of the alphabet group. Um. It's Vixen. Um. In my opinion, probably I, I put her on the level as far as it goes for characters that, that that artists love to draw in the same level as they like to draw Storm. You know, mm-hmm. hot sister girl. Um, they're trying to backpedal it a little bit by trying to say it's not part of the main continuity, but we know it's going to go there. Um, I guess the real question here is, is that they've done this so many times with so many characters. We have to reach the question of should we <clears throat> criticize or rather... Should we even care? <laughs> so they just seem to have a need to just strip apart, you know what I'm saying? Every character we have. And it's funny because they talk about diversity so much um, and trying to force it on everyone. This is one of the most diverse characters um, DC Comics has right next to what Black Lightning. Mm-hmm. And they still and they still choose to, to damage the character's history by making what they consider to be an important decision on on her sexuality, even though nobody reads those comics for sexuality. And that's all I got on that. Mm. Uh, funny enough, I had a a Facebook episode about, I was in some group and I made, you know, where some nerds are at. I tried to make a critique about a certain character in a Turtles and I was like, wait, let me stop. I'm on Facebook. I forgot where I was located before I get canceled. So I understand. Um, these things i guess like you said you know people are not going to take the criticism because apparently you can't critique shit um so it's expected um i don't know well as soon as you as soon as you critique the first thing they do is assume it's harassment and then you know you start becoming some kind of phobe that's exactly Um, what happened to me yeah i mean it's i mean it's 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 part of it's part of the playbook and like and like i said look i don't i don't i don't like I said, I don't care what the character's sexuality is. I mean, mm-hmm. there's characters in comics that have been part of the alphabet group for, for decades. And I mean decades. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it really doesn't it really doesn't matter to me. I think I think the frustration that I and other fans get, and I think everybody on the panel will agree to this, it's the wanting it's the wanton change of a character for no apparent reason other than to get clout. Right. That, and that's it. Because you make the announcement on the character and that you've changed their sexuality, and then immediately after that, the character vanishes. It just does. Yeah, I mean, there's no follow up. There's nothing important. You got your little bump in sales for an issue or two, but then you go right back down to selling less than thirty nine percent of the market. Come on. All right. So, so, so that's 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 why my that's why my response was, do we even care anymore? It's like every every week now we're expecting them to change somebody. <laughs> so, All right. You know. That's, that's a fact. Uh, what do you think, Eisen? I think the only criticism that matters is to not buy it and don't even talk about it. Um, yep. As um, <laughs> as they would say, and you know, as the old line in WWE is, there's no su- there's no such thing as bad publicity. So I mean, <clears throat> to, to trash it and talk bad about it doesn't help. I mean, just to let it vanish into obscurity by not purchasing it is the only way things work this Nailed is a, a, a this is another example of why like youtube got rid of the dislike button because you know all these companies are making youtube channels on uh, and you know a lot of people will dislike and bomb their, their videos and stuff like this would probably get bobbed on the video right but you know because you know they're trying to be sensitive to youtube you know um that's why they only show the like button now um, wasn't that because of disney i it was, it was uh, i don't Captain know Man. actually it was it was either the Captain Marvel movie or something with Star Wars, and they downvoted it so bad the ratio was insane. 
Oh and yeah. Then the next thing I knew, they started talking about getting rid of the dislike button. Yeah, it's because of these companies coming on on the YouTube platform. That's why. Uh, what do you think, Omega, on this? Uh, people switching uh, uh, sexual orientations and all this other stuff. Um, <clears throat> going with the times, I believe. Um, but <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> also, to an extent. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think it's gonna make me not like the character any more than I already do. But mm-hmm. there is an expectation between all of your characters. You know, one day there's trade, one day they're not. <clears throat> it, it's it's happening countless times through uh, comic book history. So um, I'm still gonna like Vixen a lot. I'm not gonna have that feeling like oh we lost the one. You know, but right. <laughs> it's just the character itself and her powers are just magnificent. Um, well, can I, can I throw I, something out? Can I throw something out real quick? Oh, go ahead. <clears throat> I, I get everything you said, and it makes perfect sense. And, I, and I'm, not, I'm not taking away from that. But think about it from this perspective. I was an adult watching Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, the animated series. Mm-hmm. And you guys were teenagers, I guess, for, mo- for the most part. Mm-hmm. So here's my math. Was- Grown, I think, but yeah. Okay, well, w- w- whatever. Everybody was old enough to watch it. Is the point I'm trying to make. So here mm-hmm. we all have a history in our head of John Stewart and Vixen being together. How do you reconcile that with what you just saw? Um, hey, it, 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 it does. It, I mean, it doesn't damage the character that as a can whole. Flip and but it does. I would tell you how it reconciles it. It, confl- it <laughs> conflicts it a little bit. You know what I mean? At least I'm from gonna, the history that you know. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you how it reconciles it. Look, she, she, she went that way after she couldn't be that hot girl. That's what happened. <laughs> 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 I can't get mad at that. I, I can't get oh, mad at that. Oh, man. That was good. I like that. <laughs> what do you think, Swift? You're you're uh, you're Gen Z generation. I know you all are used to this stuff. Whoa, 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 Don't, don't, don't associate me. Dang. Okay. Yo, don't. <laughs> let, 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 let's get this straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm eating up on that one. Number one, number one, number one. A phobia is a fear. So if anyone calls you this phobe, that phobe, let them know that's a fear. And if they continue to argue with them, just let them talk and walk away. Mm-hmm. Number two, money talks. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I hear you on that. Okay. Uh, is that was that it, Swift? Yeah, that's it. I, okay. I don't comment on these type of people. <laughs> okay. Let, let uh, Adias, what do you think? I think it's very simple. Everything that can be said about one of these characters being gay washed uh, has been said, and I don't really have much more to add. Okay. Uh, Trunks, anything on that one? The last one? Oh, uh, I don't want to get your channel demonetized, man. Yeah, don't just do that. <laughs> All right. All right, go ahead, uh, Mega, uh, with the well, NFTs. Hopefully I didn't get it demonetized <laughs> with my last statement. <laughs> go ahead, Omega. NFTs. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, yeah, NFTs are coming to your video game, players. Get ready. So, um just read a bit of it and then I'll expound on it. So, yeah, so um let's see. Okay, so it has all the hallmarks of Pokemon game. You could like cartoonish characters, I mean creatures and use them to battle against other players. Some are rarer than others, inspiring envy in fellow trainers. But this game doesn't run on Nintendo console. It's built on blockchain. So uh, if anybody's known that, you know, NFTs have really been just an amazing blockchain technology, which is is not even no longer uh, vaporware drifting on the horizon of the video game industry, it's here. Our blockchain integrated games like Axie Infinity, the dawn of a new gaming era, or a blip on the market that will vanish as quickly as it began. 
the question is as contentious as cryptocurrency itself. So this does feel like a polarizing wave to me. Um, but the question is, how much can you stunt on an NFT by marketing through your own possible um because th this is definitely going to affect uh social media of course and different platforms but uh my thing is when it comes to like cryptocurrency is definitely like a new <clears throat> you know next big thing mm -hmm. like it if that wave is already running is is this just going to be the the new cryptocurrency that's following behind it as an nft Um, anything on this trunks? Um, to be honest, not really. I, I don't know much to say. Okay. Uh, Diaz, anything? No, sir. Okay. Uh, Swift, anything? Mm, kind of curious on how it's going to develop. Because you, you always know there's a lot of people saying NFTs are bad, and then you have another side saying NFTs are good. So I'm curious how it's going to develop with different types of games. Okay, I'm going to buy five of them. They are. Just, just to see what goes down, I'm buying five. Yeah. Can't go wrong with five. <laughs> what do you think, Lawrence, on NFTs? Um, <clears throat> I. I really don't know what to say. I, I do know they're disrupting the comic industry big time um, to the point that uh, people are revving up for lawsuits. Um, uh, the publishing companies versus the, the artists who make them. And it's a question of who actually owns the artwork and stuff like that. Um, I do know some of them are just ridiculously out um, overpriced. And it, and I also have a question, and, and, and it's more curious than anything else. Do you really, really own it? You, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 just a, it's just a digital replica of something, not the actual original piece. So, so, so how can you really lay claim to ownership, and why would it be valued so high as a replica? Or am I misunderstanding the technology and how it's working? Just, Good just question. quick, um, just quick interjection, just really quick. Um, do you guys think it's a bubble that's just gonna burst? Uh, I specifically want to know Lawrence's thoughts. Like, is it a bubble that's just gonna like burst? Like, are we just placing um, what kind of value is it? It's like, it's like value where it's like kind of like clout. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, 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 to be honest, initially I thought that was the case. But between between NFTs being what they are, someone's going to figure out a way to merge those with Bitcoin, and then they're going to find a way to merge that with whatever Facebook is doing with the metaverse. So yeah. so so do I think it's going to burst? Yes, but not in the sense that it'll go away. It's, it's, it's more like the real estate market. It'll burst because people got too carried away. Then it'll slowly come back and build back up and et cetera and so on. But I think they're here to stay. To be honest with well, you, gotcha. I, really, I really do. I, do yeah, I, uh, I think so too. I do have information on it. So uh, good. since since an NFT can only have one owner at any one time, when you buy an NFT, you purchase the exclusive ownership of a particular digital asset. However, this doesn't really mean though that you own exclusive rights as to who gets to look at or share that particular artwork okay but okay that that answers everything except one question why would something have that much significance when it's a duplicate i mean you, you know what i'm saying it's, it's not the, it's, it's it's like buying a rembrandt and you have the original rembrandt but somebody makes a copy of it and then you want to try and sell them <laughs> that that's that the copy is just as important as the original it's not it's not that that's where i'm getting confused at if it's an mm. integral maybe like i want to say fusion slash like maybe a uh, different style of what you bought if someone sees it and they want to buy it from you kind of thing you know and they, they could do that through cryptocurrency but it, it would be like whatever price that 
you know, you're willing to part with it and then it's theirs. So I don't know. It, it almost seems like it's a, a uh, jump from here to there thing. Like say, hey, man, I like that. Can I get that from you? And then the other person be like, hey, I like that, you know. No, on and, and, on and, and on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, I totally get that. It, I mean, it's no different than digital trading cards, but digital trading cards was still far more unique than replicating something in a digital format. I mean, you're looking at a uh, 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 what was it a uh, a copy of Spider Man in his black uniform sell for a couple of million dollars as an NFT from something Todd McFarlane did like. 30 years ago and, it, and and that's all it was somebody just did a digital copy of it so i don't mm-hmm. understand i don't understand how the cost of them can be so high for a makeshift co- for a knockoff let's call it for what it is it's a knockoff lawrence lawrence yeah i'll sum it up for you i'll simplify it people are saying right. well i know that <laughs> yeah, are, right? uh, Wait, what did I'm, I'm just i'm just trying, I'm, I'm just trying to i'm just Some trying people to figure, stupid. <laughs> Well, I'm, don't, the only reason I'm asking is because I'm, I'm trying to understand it from the technical, the technical and, and, and business perspective, because what I'm moving into, I'm going to have to deal with NFT. So I'm trying to get a better understanding of it. And right now I'm having difficulty because, like I said, I don't see the value because you're just buying a copy of a copy. So yeah, you're not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but people are. Well, I'm going to be stupid, stupid to buy and anything. buy five of them. So if somehow I make a lot of money off of it, yeah. Be oh, and one more question. <laughs> one, 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 yeah. one more. One more quick question. And am I understanding it correctly that you don't even get the whole thing? You just get a piece of the thing, right? Um. Like you have a like you have a yeah, whole you NFT and more. you sell off pieces of it to different people, right? Okay, so the selling of an NFT basically is the transfer uh, the NFT to the marketplace where you want to sell it. So right. it if it currently isn't already there, or if you are storing your NFTs only in your personal crypto wallet and don't have them available to be viewed on a marketplace. Great way to rack up on some uh, crypto coins. <laughs> but, but yeah, but, but what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, is that image of Todd McFarland that I was talking about. So somebody could sell like a piece of it that only shows the headshot, and they could sell oh, the other yeah, piece, like a part as that. Yeah, oh, like like yeah, like, like, I'm like not you're sure sell, about that. Yeah, like you're selling individual puzzle pieces. So so again, we come back to the same thing. Where's the actual ownership? You're not owning anything except a sliver of something. But anyway, I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep dragging this on. I was just curious because, like I said, I'm gonna oh, have to do oh, more research. Just be I just wanted to buy one of them. quickly clarify something. <laughs> go, go ahead, trucks. Yeah. So NFTs were originally made so like digital artists could get paid. By the way, and then it transformed into this whole thing of like buying and selling, like just like random shit. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, wow. yeah, well, yeah. Okay. That, that, that's why revelation. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why. That's, yeah, D- DC started sending out cease and desist letters to their artists because um, oh, wow. they said they're not allowed to to sell the art. And then, they, and then when yeah. that didn't work, they started <clears> doing <throat> copyright and trademark claims for the characters and stuff like that. But that didn't. But but they're getting resistance because artists have always done that, even manually by hand at comic conventions, selling you know sketches because that's how they supplement their income. So, like, like I said, that, that was the reason why I was asking the questions. It's it's very convoluted. So, I, 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 like I said, I, I don't want to drag this out, but I, I got to do more research because I'm not getting it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm with so, you. Yeah. Go ahead, Travis. Are any of you buying the board ape? Mm. Are any of you buying a board ape? No. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Not, not yeah, I don't even know what it is. What is half it? Half a million on a picture of an ape. Yeah, I know. That's, I mean, like, the, I hey, that's like the NFT thing that everyone's <laughs> buying now. <You're> right. <laughs> hey, uh, Eisen, anything on this? I didn't get. We didn't get to your turn. Sorry. No. Uh, yeah. No. All right. No. Go ahead. I, I said enough on it. Yeah. All right. So we have reached the hour mark. We'll be uh, back after a quick commercial break. Be sure to like the video, and we'll come back after like a couple of minutes. And yeah, uh, enjoy your little break. Go get some popcorn. Go to the bathroom. I don't know. Do something, but just don't smell. All right. We'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, 
the music. The heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Hadouken! Force energy powers. Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. Force supply! Tyrannosaurus! The soul provide. Or the stone pudding or something. I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of fig leaf. Yomigaret! Nebirachan! But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pants. Your soul is mine. By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Why so serious? Riddle me this. Haven't had a lot of company in a long time, but if I were expecting some, I'd whip up a really uh, substantial meal. You see how strong I am? <laughs> From eating all of this stuff. Super Vegeta. Force Tyrannosaurus. Yoga claim. The soul provides. Your soul is mine. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Hadouken! By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. Yoga claim. What are you going to do, Space Ghost? I'm combining the stun ray with the force energy power. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. Riddle me this. The soul provides. Why so serious? Yomi Gaiden! Nebira Chan! Force the plot! Tyrannosaurus! Always winterize your pants. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. We all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Why so serious? Yoga claim. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. By your powers combined. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. What are you going to do, Space Ghost? I'm combining the stun ray with the force energy power. Always winterize your pants. By your powers combined. Hadouken! Yomi Gaiden! Nebirachan! 
force of time. Tyrannosaurus! Yoga lame. Why so serious? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all lived through the 70s. The clothes, the music, the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pipes. All right, what's going on, guys? Talk with John podcast episode five, the second episode of this month. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Check us out on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Anchor, Radio Public, and the description. Also join the Discord. I do a lot of updates on there, a lot of watch parties, different stuff on there. A lot of different recommendations for movies, anime, all that good stuff on the Discord. Links are in the description. Alright, so, uh, Pokemon Legends. Arceus. Nintendo shows off 13 minutes of gameplay, so... Uh, the gameplay was uh, released um, showcasing this new game. Offers in depth look at Sia's new spin on the classic monster collecting game, including how Pokemon are battled, caught in the wild. So, uh, this is think about like maybe your Sword and Shield on Switch, but it's like 3D and um, it has like a 3D setting, kind of like your typical Digimon game or something like that. The gameplay would actually look pretty good. Um, there's been a lot of hype around this. Um, and I actually pre-ordered that shit because that shit looks good. Uh, based on my based on my experience from uh, Sword and Shield, um, I'm, for the most part, I don't think it's been a bad Pokemon game in a while. So they have good momentum from this, and of course we're still using the Switch. I mean we're not getting a uh, new console of Nintendo. I don't think until maybe I don't know 2024, 2025 maybe. So. Uh, Switch is still going out strong with their exclusive games, um, beating out Xbox at the current moment. But um, I'm definitely excited for this. If you haven't seen it, it's available on um, YouTube to check out the gameplay. And it's coming out actually this month. So uh, I think next Friday is coming out. So definitely uh, if you have a Switch, you know, you can get yourself a new Pokemon game. And um, hopefully you enjoy it because it looks pretty good to me. Um, anything on this, Trunks? Um, I'll consider it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I have a Switch, so. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know you had a Switch. Dope. Uh, what do you uh, think? Yeah, I bought uh, my brother one. Oh, okay. Okay. So that was a pretty nerd thing to do right there, wasn't it? Um... <laughs> you got me. All right. What do you think, Swift, on the new Pokemon game? I mean, I haven't seen any gameplay, but... It's Pokemon Ace. I, I'm just going to assume it's going to be good. And it's Arceus. That's like one of the most popular Pokemon. So I'm just making an assumption. Right. I'm thinking like, when was the last bad Pokemon game? I mean, because I'm not a fanboy here. I mean, if there if one was bad, let me know. But so far, it seems, I mean, they've been pretty successful. Uh, what do you think, Lawrence, on uh, Pokemon Legends? Maybe, I don't know. You know uh, kids might like yeah, it. I, I, yeah, I, I, got, I got nothing on that one. Okay. Uh, I, I, honestly, I don't. Um, like I said, if, if 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 it's talking about the game, like I said, the only game I play is the mobile one. Okay. So, um, so I I I couldn't speak on that if I wanted to. That's why I said when you search it, it comes up as different things. There's Pokemon Legend, Pokemon Go, so on and so forth. I play Pokemon Go. So. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Omega, on the new Pokemon game? Um. Yeah, um, I think it's going to be uh, pretty awesome. Uh, definitely uh, the whole crafting, catch, and customize mechanics. Pretty oh, much yeah. add more depth. Mm -hmm. um, but probably, uh, like, I, I haven't seen much of the gameplay. 
but um, just reading it, it just seems like it's going to be awesome. If it's, I mean, what's the, I'm poking was pretty astonishing, but this seems like it's just more, more immersive and in depth. So I think it'd be great. Yeah, I think it's trying to be like a better, the next level of shield and sword. Cause I mean, technically that was an open world game too, but you know, it wasn't like 3d, like completely 3d like this. Um, what do you think, Eisen? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I really don't have any thoughts. Um, being a member of the glorious uh, PC Master Race, uh, huh. yeah, I have no thoughts on it. Okay. Moving right along. Go ahead, Swift, on the uh, Kirby game. Swift? There you go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, as we can see in the title, this says new Kirby game that's teased. So Kirby games are really typically pretty good. So, and it's open world. So it should be. I expect it to be good. It looks like on it's that one game. It's already like three D land or three D world. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of that. So it's open world Kirby game. You have space, but we'll wait for the trailer to come out. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, I am not a fan of Kirby, but, you know, I know there's fans out there that, um, you know, like the franchise, and um, I haven't heard complaints from a Kirby game in years. So, once again, it's another Nintendo IP that, when it comes out, people just buy uh, as soon as it comes out. So, I'm sure um, they'll get a lot of money from this. Uh, what do you think, uh, Trunks? Um, I'm a fan of Kirby games. They're pretty fun. Um, I'll consider buying it. Okay. Uh, Lawrence said... Uh, my hey, brother likes oh, go ahead. Sorry, Trent. Go ahead. I don't know. I just said my brother likes them. That's it. Okay. What do you think, uh, Lawrence, on uh, the new Kirby? Uh, again, nothing. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think, Omega? Um, I've always been pretty... I, well, let's say... I wouldn't say much of a fan, but when I had a Super Nintendo, I remember um, renting... Um, what was it? And it was funny that I think the rental place is called Video Hot. Mm -hmm. they, I think they were owned by Koreans, I believe. So, you know, uh, it should have been hot video. But other than that, um, <laughs> I rented what was that? Uh, Kirby Super All Stars. I think it was Super All Stars. But that game, I, I, I've heard about Kirby and stuff. But then when I played that game, I was like, Eight games in one, like that. That game was phenomenally fun. Like the whole thing of like eating something and then gaining its abilities was just dope. So I think this game, with it being three D, a lot of fans will possibly like that. Like if you like that game from the Super Nintendo, you'll definitely like Kirby now. And I mean, he's well, he's been in like all the Smash Bros. So yeah, yeah. Be dope. Kirby low key sounds oh, like them. Uh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead, Swift. I was gonna say. I was just gonna say. There's a Kirby Superstar game, and there's also a Kirby All Stars game. I, I think the one I'm talking about is coming. Kirby Superstar. That's for the Super NES. Yeah. Okay. The other okay. one, what is that for? Like, I think the Nintendo Wii or probably Wii. one of the re more recent one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, that, what were you uh, saying? Uh, yeah, so? I was gonna say that doesn't Kirby kind of remind you of Imagine Doo in a way? Yeah, he kind of does. And Boo, yeah. yeah, they had a death battle. Eat you and get your abilities, yeah. Two. Oh, okay, go figure. Death battle between those two. Who, who won? Maybe he's like a cousin or something. You said who won? <laughs> yeah, who won that one? Death, death battle. If I remember correctly, Kirby won. What? Kirby won. Oh, yeah. Star Warrior kicked I guess I gotta, watch. I gotta watch that then. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Aizen, uh, what's your thoughts on the uh, Kirby game? I would never play it. Never played a Kirby game. Don't have any interest in ever playing one. So, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so this is. Nerd. Oh, 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 god! All right, all right, all right Trump. Oh, okay, so this is a big one for uh, this uh, remaining of the month. So uh, Microsoft buys uh, Activision Blizzard for over sixty-eight million dollars. So this was a big deal when it came out. Everyone was acting crazy and covering it. 
So Microsoft, Microsoft announces plans to acquire Activision amid the ongoing controversy surrounding, uh, surrounding the publisher's workplace harassment lawsuit. Uh, so it says confirmed by Microsoft, the company will soon be finalizing a deal that will take it control of Activision, the publisher as best known for Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Overwatch. The deal is valued at $68.7 billion, inclusive of Activision Blizzard's net cash, writes Microsoft, noting once the deal closes that Bobby uh, Kotick, Activision's uh, current CEO, will retain his position at the head of the company. Um, Kotick will now report to Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming. Uh, Activision will also see Microsoft gain ownership of King Digital Entertainment, a, co a company largely known for the uh, large uh, mobile game Candy Crush. Uh, so, I, you know, Microsoft, well, I guess my little opinion, Microsoft's trying to do whatever they can to uh, compete in the market. And so I'm not too surprised that they're trying to buy all these studios. Um, because once again, Xbox is at last place. Because, you know, everything that's on Xbox is on PC. And, you know, it's uh, when it comes to that console war thing, I really don't care about it. In 2022, I think it's kind of stupid. Just buy, <laughs> buy whatever platforms you want to play your games and just call it a day. Um, so I, I'm sure the gaming community is like, you know, they did a lot of content on this back and forth about was it was it a W, was it an L? Obviously, I think it was a dub. Um, but once again, um, you have to bring Xbox only games to compete. And if you're going to put that on PC, I mean, then once again, your, your competition uh, gets cut in half. So it's good for y'all. But uh, I don't know. I mean, they're, think, they're saying Call of Duty could potentially I think there's a deal with Call of Duty saying that it's going to still be a multiplat, But from now on, um, there's going to be some a lot of games going straight to PC and Xbox, which I don't know. I mean, more for me, us uh, PC people. Um, what do you think, Eisen? Because you had an article on this, I think, and I think someone else did. Well, I, actually, what I ended up having an article on also too was um, <clears throat> the aspect that you brought up about the uh, <clears throat> the uh, console war deal. Mm -hmm. um, um, but also, um, you know, it's been some. Um, there was a congressman, uh, Gerald uh, Nadler. Uh, he got on Twitter uh, to basically say, you know, uh, that he expects a deal to be closely scrutinized to ensure it won't harm American workers or competition. Mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> I mean, when you talk about, you know, senators and uh, Congress people, you know, looking at this, so we'll see how it happens. Um, but, um, you know, there's not really so. It's not a console war. No, nah, um, it's a anymore. content war. It's a content war for uh, exclusive exclusivity and power to see how they can manage on where they send it to, how it'll be sent, and um, basically how they'll profit off of it. It's more about content than consoles. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess that's all I got. Okay, uh, what do you think, Trunks? Um, don't really have much to say on this. I'm not too familiar. I don't game very often. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Lawrence, anything on this? Yeah. Um, I don't, I think eventually it's going to be run into the ground. Um, if you look at the history of Microsoft, whenever they buy something, it usually goes straight to hell and then they eventually not follow up on it or keep it going consistently. Prime example, Skype, anybody? Um, <laughs> yeah, hmm. right. Um, no, seriously, uh, Skype, hmm. and, a, and there's, a, there's, a, there's a long list. Microsoft does that. Um, they, they try to claim they want to get into the market, but eventually what they do is they end up, like I said, not supporting the very thing they bought, and it eventually just goes down the tubes from there. Um, as far as it goes for Activision, um, I'd like to come back to that because it does bleed into one of my articles okay mm. great so um anything on this omega thoughts um i'm gonna put it very just straight to the point exclusives and valuable ips right mm -hmm. are critical to selling a console Mm -hmm. And Microsoft never had these. So this is the greatest opportunity to have that. <laughs> yeah. And basically corner and dominate that market. 
Yeah, I, I mean, mean they got some heavy hitting titles, especially Call of Duty. So, right. I mean, the last time they had a a very successful, you know, era was that 360 era. I mean, they were just putting out games like crazy. You know, like yeah. everyone was on the 360 back then. You know, or you had a 360 oh and a PlayStation. God. So, you know, 360 one, and a PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, that was the way to go. Um, what do you think, uh, Swift, on uh, Microsoft buying Activision? I mean, Activision's probably going to go even more downhill now that Microsoft's bought it. So, I guess you can say that's it's like the beginning of the end for it. Uh-huh. Like Lauren said, anytime Microsoft buys something, it always goes downhill. It <laughs> never gets supported. So. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, uh, we are now down to the rapid fire. Um, what was that article? Uh, let me let me see if this is the one you're talking about, Lawrence. Is this the one you're talking about? I'm gonna share the screen. Is this, is this the one or the other one? Is this it that you're looking for? I'm sorry, it's the other one. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, the DC one. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Let me switch screens right here. All righty. All right. All right. Boom. There you go. Okay, Daniel Cherry III abruptly departs D.C. Daniel Cherry was brought in right after Dan DiDio, who they unceremoniously unceremoniously fired. He was the head chief, publisher, yada, 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 along with Jim Lee. They brought Daniel Cherry in the third afterwards because they thought Daniel Cherry can expand their global, uh, their global signature, so to speak. He's the one. And he's the reason who passed the initiatives while we suddenly got all our characters joining the alphabet club. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It was, it was, it was his initiatives. He's also the one that found a way to bring Fortnite into DC comics is that's how we got the Batman Fortnite miniseries. But the reason I wanted to come to him before speaking on Activision is because before he came to DC, he was the one running Activision. <clears throat> oh, okay. Mm. So, mm. Here's the thing. <laughs> uh-uh. There's another company he was at before Activision. And what I've noticed is a pattern that he goes to those companies, they go straight downhill, then he bounces to another company, goes downhill, and then he bounces to another company. Now, the current rumor um, in the industry <laughs> is apparently he's going to work with Kanye West. <laughs> Why? I um uh, why no I'm, 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 ser- I'm serious that's the current rumor it's okay. just a rumor all right no proof on that but 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 it's a pretty strong rumor now here's the thing oh geez how can i it's so bad daniel cherry is the reason we got i am not starfire mm-hmm. daniel cherry is the reason we got batman urgent Le- urban legends number four when tim drake decided he wanted to be bisexual hmm Daniel Cherry is the reason why we have Superman's son be gay. Mm-hmm. Daniel mm. Cherry is the reason why we just got finished talking about Vixen earlier. Mm. That's a lot of okay. L's. <laughs> it is. Good it is. Lord. And and he's damaged he's damaged the industry so he's damaged the company so badly they literally dropped 39% in sales and they were already below the market. And to, t- and, to, and to give you a good idea of just how bad that is, something's wrong when IDW is outselling DC. Hmm. Mm. Okay. And we all mm. know the trouble. We all know the trouble IDW was in. Mm-hmm. Just saying. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm not sure how badly that was on him or because he was between a rock and a hard place. Because he was reporting specifically to uh, Warner Brothers uh, Global Brands president, Pam Lifford. And he uh, <clears throat> he was also oversaw business development for the company with executive and the pies. Now, both of those are very, very outspoken ideological people, if you follow what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Then you have to look at everything they dumped on his plate. He was responsible for business affairs, editorial, talent services, marketing, sales, brand, and direct-to-consumer. So, just saying. But as far as it goes for those of us as fans, oh, we're happy he's gone. 
Yeah, because well, it looks like his track record is a bunch of glitter and rainbows and shit. Yep. Well, but uh, like well, I said, DC, DC's overall sales while he was there during 2021 fell from around 39 percent or so of the of the comics market share. Now you got to think about that. The big the big two were Marvel and DC. That's a major major drop. Mm -hmm, yeah. Major drop, huge. And take this in consideration too. He did all this damage being there less than a year and a half. Because he just took the job. Right. He just took the job September 2020. So if you count that up until now, that's one year and four months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of damage you can do hmm. when you put the wrong person in. One year, four months. It's pretty rough, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, go ahead, Eisen. Just going to say, um, it just goes to show you, he already had a track record of running everything to the ground before. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, hey, three's a pattern. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three's a pattern. So, I, oh, well, hey, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out what he runs into the ground next if, whenever they're stupid enough to do it. So, mm -hmm. uh, what, anything on this, uh, Swift? No, I actually have no idea who this dude is. So y'all got this. <laughs> Good for you. Uh uh Trunks, what do you think? Anything on this? Um No, not not really. Don't hire the wrong people. That's all I know. Oh, hashtag unplugged. Oh god. All right. Uh, I don't know who he is either. So, yeah, well, you know, well, well like I said, you, you I mean, what you said is big. You, you know, don't hire the wrong people. And 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 it, and in addition, it's not about wrong people. You can't hire people who build their entire foundation of success on ideology, because one of the first things he did was come in there and start dropping. He changed his his profile to show Black Lives Matter and LGBT, and and I mean he 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 just went across the board, and that's the problem. That that's the real problem, because. Here, here, how can I put this? When you work for someone, you are a caretaker of their product and services. And you can't come in and because you feel like it, do damage to a company who in 15 years, based on the first appearance of Superman in Action Comics, will be 100 years old. Mm -hmm. And you just came in and you just crapped all over their stuff drop their sales down by 39%, their market share is shot. And then you do it to the point where you damage it so badly, you won't necessarily recover from it, at least not fully. So, 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 and, and that's the thing, they're hiring people based on clout and looking at his history of going from company to company, all you see is him failing upwards because he keeps going to bigger and better things. And it's not just him either. I don't want to single him out. I mean, I've seen this uh, across multiple industries, comics, movies, TV, whatever, video games, the whole nine yards. So okay. it's a bad day for us. Mm -hmm. uh, Trunks, what were you going to say? Uh, oh, um, I just said check chat. Uh, okay. Uh, go ahead, Trunks. This is yours. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> See, so... Yeah, the second season of the Rising of the Shield Hero is confirmed. I believe it said it's coming out in April of this year. So, yeah, looking forward to that. You know what's funny about this series? This series kind of reminds me of, um, what is that, that commonplace to uh, to strongest anime, or Rifa, season two? Like, they're very oh, similar. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Very similar yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, settings, RPG you know, adventure, but uh, Shield Hero was definitely good, so I'm definitely, definitely will be uh, watching the season two. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Swift, anything on this? Did you watch Shield Hero at all? No, I haven't seen Shield Hero, but I've been hearing rumors about season two for like the past year or two, so it's like, kind of <clears throat> died down for me. I don't have a reason to watch it yet. Okay. Uh, Eisen, anything? Um, it's my first time hearing of it, so don't really have anything. Okay. Uh, Lawrence? 
Uh, I'm with Eisen. First time hearing of it, so I don't. Okay, Omega. Who's eating crackers? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not crackers. That's a piece of paper I was throwing away. Damn, this mic is good. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, just balling up. A, I was just balling up a piece of paper to throw it away. I'm you sorry. You sure you're not eating <laughs> the paper? No, I swear I'm not. It was just a piece of paper. Okay. I was crumbling it up. Sound like you're a, someone was having a good meal or something. I was like, okay, shit. No, damn, damn, this is a good mic. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. My nah, bad. You're I mean, good. We hear it like when he threw it, and then it's slow motioned into the basket and everything. <laughs> nah, I didn't even, I didn't even try. After you said you could hear it, I just put it back on the table. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, good. Wow. You're good. Uh, what do you think, Omega? Any thoughts on Shield Hero season two? Um... I think it's interesting. I haven't watched it, but I th- I do like the concept of just the whole shield thing. <laughs> but I like uh, the reference to uh, the one anime you talked about. So I actually seen that. So if it's like that, then yeah, that'd be dope. Okay. Um, so you guys put my eyes on this one. MCU officially scraps two uh, series this year. Um, says yeah. the MCU has been expanding its rate. <laughs> Uh, with uh, live uh, TV shows, uh, it says WandaVision. Okay, we already know that, so let's get it canceled. Okay, it says, uh, let me see. What the hell? That's been removed from the 20. 20- okay, Secret Invasion set to Star Wars alone. Uh, okay, season two will not debut this year. Okay. And what else is getting removed? What if? Yep. Oh, they removed What If? Damn it. That was actually like enough. Okay, so we'll have Moon Knight, of course, Doctor Strange 2, Thor, Black Panther, oh god, and She Hulk. Okay. I am Groot unannounced, Miss Marvel unannounced. I mean, that, that, that's not a big deal. Well, well, actually, because it's a, uh, you know, the timeline and all that, you know, hopefully that doesn't fuck up the order. But, um, I mean, they got a lot of re- released anyway this year, so, I mean, maybe it's a good thing that they're trying to. You know, delay those and work on those shows. So, um, I don't really have a problem with it. I mean, there's so much going coming out this year. Um, what do you think, uh, Lawrence? Did that did did that match what I had put in the back? Yeah, I think that's what uh, you were talking about. Okay, yeah, because it, it I I thought it was new because it just popped up in my phone for the first time. I, I got a beep, so I thought it was new. Um, look, I, to be honest with you, we could use the break. <laughs> I mean. I mean, seriously, I mean, you, you you get inundated with the same thing over and over again. You're going to get burnt out eventually. That's true. Um, and, I, and, and I understand why Disney's doing it. I mean, their last quarterly meeting and, and, and them getting financially downgraded from, from the banking system, they're trying to use what works to make as much money as possible. But like I said, you know, you can overtax people. It's just, some, it's just too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, because you talk, you're, you're talking about multiple TV shows and multiple movies in the same year. Or, I mean, by the time we ended the 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 last section of of what phase three, we were doing what three movies a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, one one in the early part, one in the summer, and then one in the fall. And now you're they're trying to do that plus multiple TV. Ah, it's too much, man. I mean, not them. I'm not saying that I'm, I dislike them. I'm just saying it's too much. No, I'm with you on that. Um, I'm with you on that. Uh, what do you think, Omega? Um, I don't have much to say about it. I'm just, I'm bummered about what if. <laughs> but other than that, like, I think they just have to pay the way for just new material. Mm-hmm. Like, er, er, like a lot of stuff has already been done. I mean, and this is a new year, so why not? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think, Trunks? Um, I mean, I guess I'm disappointed, man. I don't know that I don't, I, I'm. I mean, who wants a Marvel movie canceled, though? I mean, I, I do. <laughs> what to say, yeah. But if they're working on it to make it better, then I'm okay. With it. I do. <laughs> but I don't think these were actually movies either. I think these were series. TV shows. Yeah, these are TV shows. TV oh, shows. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. never mind. Okay, I misunderstood. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, Hazel. So okay. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't watch live action shows. Okay. Why, yeah. Trunks? Is it too nerdy for you? He's yeah. too plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. 
Okay. Uh, Eisen, what I do you think? I said plug in. I didn't say unplug. I oh, um, got him. Got him. I think um, <laughs> uh, uh, their, their TV series have pretty much been trash anyway. So Damn. Um, I think. No, no, I heard um, the same. I heard the same thing. Freaking brutal. I think um, <laughs> it's good. My feelings. Um, Less trash. Less trash occupying Wait, up. Falcon um, with the soldier wasn't bad, though. Not yeah, from what I heard. Good. Yeah, you can say what's what wrong. Yeah. Not from what I heard. Oh, he's okay. No, I'm no, no. He, he's not. He's not. <laughs> every everybody I've spoken to, every show that that's been on, is not. It's 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 not been that. That's the reason I haven't seen him yet. <clears throat> I'm gonna be that guy yeah. that dislikes everything, man. Because who I me? It was man, good. I, man, look, <laughs> hey, hey, look. Uh huh. I'm, well, I mean, Omega, you you pretty much like almost everything. Um, it's yeah, no, there's nothing to it's no knock at you. You just do. Um, but yeah, um, I, I'm just you know seeing this. I'm just glad and know I made the right decision and bailing out on Disney Plus, and I did after season two of The Mandalorian was it. You know, yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I, there's yeah, no reason I for me to buy that, in. Definitely, yeah. yeah okay. Definitely. It'd be it'd be fucked up yeah. if um, there was like a bootleg called like. The Landalorian or some shit, like a bootleg version. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like you know, like those ghetto ass uh, like B movies you see like in the the bargain yeah. bin. Yeah. Hey, well, hey, you know what? Um, these MC Universe series on uh, Disney Plus have pretty much been there, just only with better, um, production. you know, better frame rates and production. Better but, you know, the same. But yeah. you know, the story is still the same, equal trash. So. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <laughs> Swift, what do you think? Yeah, I don't really care to be honest. The only one I remember was the Captain Falcon one, where he ends up becoming Captain America. That was a lot of race spinning in that, and it just and it um distracted from the story. So it's more like who cares? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, next up, uh, we got uh, Netflix races uh, subscription prices in U.S. and Canada. Netflix announced on Friday that it has raised the price of a subscription plan to the U.S. and Canada to serve as standard plan, which allows users to stream in HD on up to two separate devices. It has raised the price from $13.99 to $15.49 uh, per month. The service's premium plan allows users to stream in 4K. has increased from $17.99 to basically $20 bucks per month. Wow. A basic plan does not allow HD streams. Increased from uh, $9 to $10. Uh, the new price will roll out to existing subscribers. Netflix will email current members 30 days before the price change. So uh, this is uh, due to the competition and due to uh, Netflix just, you know, just taking L's with what they release. I mean, in, in, Netflix has been doing this ever since the competition increased. Like, they'll have one de- uh, like dope-ass show, and then after, like, a couple of months, there'll just be shitty stuff coming out. Uh, you know, Witcher came out, cool, Cobra Kai, and then after that, it's like, oh, back to watching, like, documentaries and, uh, you know, like, uh, crime, like, shows or whatever. So, and apparently this affected the NASDAQ. We kind of mentioned this on the Discord yesterday. Now, because of the failure of Netflix, the, the you know, uh, NASDAQ has actually lowered because of it. Now, like you said, you know, Disney+, Plus, you know, Hulu, uh Paramount Plus, uh, what was it, Amazon, uh, all these other uh, things coming out, HBO Max. I mean, there's a lot of uh, competition now, and you have to um, really go in the market and get your actors, get your contracts, and um, get these movies out, you know? But um, I'm wondering, I feel like this is going to happen again, and we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, But that's my thoughts on it. I thought it was um, interesting. What do you think, uh, Swift? I mean, it's, it's expected. I kind of more or less expect for the prices to go up. Everyone's on Netflix, basically. I think it's looking by how much. Like, and, like, how much and how much time they're going to be doing it for. Mm. Okay. Before yeah. they raise it up again. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, it's not too soon. I mean, that would kind of be some bullshit if it, if it did that. Um, what do you think, Isaac? Um, yeah, not surprising. Um, with the um, <clears throat> with the moves that um, 
Amazon is making mm -hmm. uh, with Paramount Plus, uh, getting shows. And, you know, I mean, heck, you got, you know, they're trying to get a fallout over there on Amazon. So, um, and a lot of the, oh, man, it's not surprising, but a lot of the Netflix shows, a lot of this crap, um, some of it, you know, you have a few hits here and there that are good, but most of it's not that good. So, um, and they don't, they don't usually keep a lot of, you know, the, the good ones that people would want to see. So, um, yeah, it's not surprising. Everything's going up now. <laughs> true. Totally true. Uh, what do you think, uh, Trunks? Thoughts? Um, well, I will now be canceling my Netflix subscription. <laughs> like that, that, that does it, that does it. It, uh -huh. It's gone. I mean, I'm just gonna watch like the couple of anime I was planning to watch on there. Um, and yeah, I like what was I gonna watch? I was gonna watch the Grand Crest War. I think after that, like I'm done with Netflix. So, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, Lawrence, That's what do you been, think? Like two to three oh, times. Like, oh no, I was just gonna say like within the past year, I think they raised the price like two to three times. It feels like. Yeah, I mean, I remember when Netflix was, like, hella cheap. Like, what was it, like, seven bucks, I think? Like, seven bucks. All the days of Netflix and like being seven bucks. I mean, it was so much quality on there, you know, back in the good old days. Uh, what do you think, Lawrence? Uh, yeah, same thing. Um, they, they they raised the price at least, at least three times in the last two years, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it did. It, it, yeah, it used to be like six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, something like that. Um, I think. Well, first of all, that stock dropped twenty two percent. Let's let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. The stock Brutal. dropped twenty two percent, and that says a lot. Um, they also need to bring in a new team who knows how to recognize quality because mm. the stuff that they're putting out sucks. As yeah. far as it goes for original content. And uh, and in addition to that, one of the reasons they have so many problems is because of the amount of money they put out and invested in original content only mm. for it to backfire because it was crappy stuff. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, when you when you go out of your way to to acquire licensing for like three properties from a company like IDW, who's already proven they can't even handle their own. What made you think it was quality? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Um and they've been around long enough that they could have made moves similar to Amazon long before Amazon got in the game. Right. I mean MG, M, MGM was was pretty much up for sale, man, to be honest with you, since like 2006, 2007. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean they had the money to do it. I mean, they were the only kids on the block back then. They, they they should they should be far more ahead than what they are. They shouldn't be scrambling and struggling like that, in right. my opinion. And now they're trying to do uh, Netflix gaming. I heard that's another thing they're trying to get into. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And um, they to, should stop. To your point, like I think that one of the, the other issues was maybe they're trying to fill out too many um, genres. You know, like they have like maybe a inventory. Um, requirement or something you know, how many sci-fi how many uh you know action like well we got to fill up a horror let's fill that up i think that might be another issue too because they're trying to make sure every all right uh, every uh genre has uh the same amount of content and you know so there's not any like people complaining or having biases like oh well how come you didn't uh put any content in the uh, documentary uh, genres you know something like that so it's the so, so it's the classic throw everything against the wall and see what sticks and that's what it seems like to me because I mean, yeah. their, their genres are just, I mean, there's so many options that there's too many options. Um, See, it's, it's funny because if they, if, if they just stopped, took a breath, stepped back and just pick three particular like stories or shows, right. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of the genre, it doesn't make a difference. And, and literally put some serious people and serious work into that. Uh, they'd get people coming. They would get people coming. And don't forget, they took a huge hit on STD, too. Um, Star Trek Discovery. Because Paramount put them on the hook for, like, the first season where they covered damn near 90% mm -hmm. of a show that failed, that nobody liked. 
So I mean, I like I said, they're they're, they're investing in things that they they don't have people who un, who understand or recognize quality. And like I said, they're just dumping money everywhere to see what could happen, and, and they're bleeding. It is what it is. All right. Uh, what do you think, uh, Omega, on Netflix prices going up? Um, it just was inevitable. That's all I can say about it. No good or bad about it. Just it's inevitable. Agreed. Agreed. I will say this though. I definitely agree with your uh, point sole provider on that when it first came out oh my god the titles were amazing so they just dwindled that down and now they're raising prices <laughs> so, but yeah I, I i still believe it's a, it was an inevitable move mm -hmm. all right so uh, go ahead omega this is yours on the, the three-hour batman film okay uh let me just L, Read and, just and, a small segment. Okay. I thought this was absolutely funny. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so, Warner Bros. Pictures, world, you know, ready for a three hour Batman movie. Uh, Holy Restless Legs, Batman. Your new movie is going to have the same length as The Godfather. That at least what appears to be the case, The Batman, which has been recorded by IMDB to have a running time of two hours and 55 minutes. Just three minutes shorter than Peter Jackson's theatrical cut of the Fellowship of the Ring. So here's my take on this. Three hours. So definitely if um, as as people will know i did not make it through the spider-man so <laughs> yeah right right i would definitely, <laughs> I would definitely <laughs> uh take a whole day for this event um but i do see that in three hours right mm -hmm. can we get the gist of origins and possibly um more villains or are we just going to get basically not many villains but just the whole aspect of crime in gotham hmm okay um so i've heard uh who is it so riddler of course is in there i've heard even jokers in this movie i've heard uh penguins in this movie uh who else uh, catwoman's in this movie um so i've heard i think three of those are confirmed i'm not sure about joker though um but for me, I mean, this is basically two movies in one, if you think about it. Like, this is a, you know, this is two movies in one. So they're really going to stretch out that origin, which I'm cool with, because uh, from the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman Begins, I mean, that, that origin took at least 40, 50 minutes to do. So um, I don't mind that. You know, they are introducing a new mm -hmm. Batman, so it does make sense. They're going to have the origin there. And see, now you have no excuse. Like, that origin better be quality, because you have three hours of, of, right. of, of, of runtime. That shit better be quality. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so I, I'm down for it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I might have to go watch this in the theaters because I did this being that long. I, I don't know. That might be a really good experience yeah. in a the movie theater, but I don't know. I might fall asleep too because three hours, that's a lot. I might have to nap before I go <laughs> to see that movie. But um, my, Red Bull and Monster. My take, there's no, <laughs> there's no excuse messing up on the origin because you have way too much time. Like, um, that's my uh, little opinion. Uh, what do you think, Lawrence? My Batman doesn't glitter. Ha! Da! Ha! <laughs> that um, needs to be like printed on a shirt and sold everywhere. Yeah, yeah, really. Um, I'd, but be, but be, yeah, but but being serious for a minute. Well, I was serious with that, but okay. First of all, everybody needs to stop trying to be dancers with wolves. Movies do not need to be three hours, especially not this type of movie. Uh -huh. um, wasting an hour on his origin when it has been told at least four different times on screen, mm. and that's not including the TV shows, true, or the original <laughs> films. Um, look, we know who Batman is. We know how he became Batman. We know why he became Batman. Just jump straight into the story. That's mm. it. Just just give us just give us a story. Um, Lawrence, they're going in the direction of a new origin, so it, it's not supposed to be like what we 
I think they're putting a twist. On man, it. look. Well, but 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 look, 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 look. Every every Batman movie that's been done has tweaked the origin. No film version matches a hundred percent to what's in the comics. That's a given. Right. So 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 that's not an excuse to me. Um. Mm-hmm. So you know, like I said. No matter how much you tweak it, the foundation is still there. He was walking home. His parents was killed in front of him. He swore vengeance, became Batman. Done. Everything else is just icing on the cake. But that's that's the gist of it. There's not a kid, a young person, a middle-aged person, or a senior citizen who don't know that origin. The same way they know the origin of Superman. You can't get past that. It's known. So we don't need we don't need a three-hour movie to tell us what we already know. Now, if you want to give me a good, solid hour and 45, hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and 45 movie that shows a real freaking adventure, a real solid story, and not just Batman swinging through rooftops, because you, you, they keep forgetting that this is supposed to be the premier detective right. in the entire DC universe. We're talking about Sherlock Holmes comes to him for advice kind of stuff. So show us a detective right. story. Show us the relationship that he builds between him and Commissioner Gordon. Because I do believe I also heard something about a cameo with Commissioner Gordon's daughter in there because they're going to make it a Batgirl movie or something. I, I don't know. It, it's, it's too much. It, it's too much. You know, I mean, give, give, give us a solid story. Stop giving us the same thing over and over again. Um, and, and, and hopefully, the most high willing, this Riddler will be far superior than what What's-His-Face did with with, with Jim, Jim Carrey, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jim Carrey, Jim, Jim Carrey was kind of. I actually like Jim Carrey. Honestly. He was hilarious. Man, it was, no, but it, no, it was, oh, it, no, no, it was, it was, it was, it was over the top. He almost man. did take away from like a lot of Riddler's like scary. Ain't no almost. <laughs> um, um, anyway, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. a comedian to play the Riddler. Yeah, yeah, and um, it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was he, I think he did good. And they, no, and, and, don't, and don't get me wrong, I don't, just, yeah, I don't just blame him for that. Tommy Lee Jones was over the top with Two Face too. I mean, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it, was yeah. it was just too much. And if that wasn't enough, they had the audacity to do it again with Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Oh, Freeze. Man. Come on, man. This is. <laughs> I will this, throw this one and, thing out there, Lawrence. And I will say this. Definitely, I will, I, I okay. will say this. I will say this. Because of that is why there was such a long time in between before we got. The Christian Bale Batman, because right. you have to remember, the same thing happened decades before. That's why everybody was worried about um, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman, because prior to that, all they knew was the goofy nonsense from Adam West. Mm-hmm. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, you, we we mm-hmm. can't keep we can't keep playing those kind of games because again, you damage the brand. It, you know, you you go in there, you tell the story. And when you tell the story, you make sure you don't break the toys because you have to put them back in the box for the next person to come along and, and do their thing. So I don't, I don't think we need a three hour movie. I don't think we need to go through all that again. We know what's what. OK, I will throw this at everybody and they could take a piece of this. Now, do you think in a sense. Every Batman has the, the same. Do they have the same like tragic yeah. origin for each Earth? Because if, 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 if we are starting Bruce to go Wayne, in the multiverse, then, yeah. if it's Bruce Wayne, his parents die every time. Yeah, <coughs> except, except for one. Except, except for one. one. Except for one. Except for one. Okay. That was that, that was, was that's the that one was, where I believe Bruce that was is tw- the one. That yeah, that's yeah, tw- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. Yeah, it was twenty eleven. Uh, the Flashpoint story. Um, it was it was Bruce who died, and his mother became the Joker. That's why, and his, and his that's, why, wait, that's why you missed what I said. Oh, I I'm said, sorry. If it's Bruce Wayne, it's the same. Yes, yes. My bad. My bad. I missed that. I missed that. My bad. My yes. bad. Let me get. Yeah, you, uh... but yeah, but if it's if it's Bruce Wayne, it's exactly the same every time. All right. Let me get the trunks. Yeah. Trunks. What do you think? Um. Let's see. Well. Yeah, I, I don't really have any thoughts on this. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eisen, what do you think on uh, the three-hour thing? Yeah, I agree with Lawrence. Uh, it's unnecessary. Uh, we all What happens to Bruce for his origins, there's no need to be an origin story for Bruce Wayne. I mean, if it was going to be a different new Batman, okay, yeah, I get it, but not for Bruce Wayne. Yeah, we get it. Thomas and Martha die. Oh, well. Boo-hoo, bats, and all that shit. Um, yeah, don't need that. The only thing we needed was a good story with, you know, different, possibly different villains, you know, that he's never had to deal with, you know. 
like Victor Zaz or, you know, or uh, Hugo Strange, something different. Um, mm-hmm. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, so this small little uh, little thing. So I don't know. I'm just going to be honest, man. I was a full, I nerded out on Batman Forever, man. It, I know it might be corny, but, man, I, I watched that movie so many times, man. Uh, and then with Batman no, Robin really? with, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, no, no, but, man. Like... No, but, that, no but, that, but, but listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. That's a good thing, though. Seriously, all kidding aside, that's a good thing. Because Batman is one of those characters who's able to transcend that way and go into different types of genres, so to speak. I mean, we've got stories of him being a vampire. We've got the Lego movie. We've got the 1966 TV show. We got Michael Keaton. We got the one you liked. We got Christian Bale. Batman works that way. That's that's not a yeah. problem for me. Like I said, the problem is, is that I don't need three hours for you to tell me what I already knew from all the other ones. Right. I, I mean, nothing's changed. And so 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 you're know, making so you're making me pay you twenty bucks for something you've already told me multiple times. And you know we got to remember. Uh, we go ahead, Mike. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I was gonna say <laughs> another good uh, thing that uh, Arnold did. He did uh, give us a great, you know, kind of uh, do-it-yourself tip. You know, always winterize your pipes. I love that shit. Oh, <laughs> he said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he said, always winterize oh, your, your pipes. And, I was like, yeah. let's go. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 for the record, for the record, yeah. I need them to stop picking the most obvious villains too. Seriously, okay. yeah, I can't. Be did, sure. did you hear what yeah, I said? Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 I did, I did, I did. That's why I'm repeating. I, it. I heard what you meant. That. That's why I'm repeating. Yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. Because because we have to come to an understanding about something. Let's let's be honest right now. Want to throw in man bad thing? There is nobody who's gonna do Joker the way Heath Ledger did. No, no. Yeah, okay. True. Now you might now, now you might true. come close with Joaquin Phoenix, but that's a whole different kind of atmosphere it's, to yeah, the movie. Different Joker, period. Exactly. Different so Joker, yes, the yeah. atmosphere, the dynamic, the whole nine yards, and it's not going to work. So so, but but you know, give me something other than a Joker. Give me. I mean, Batman. Batman is right next to Dick Tracy. He has the most memorable Rogues Gallery. There are three characters who are like that. That is Dick Tracy, Batman, and Spider Man. They have mm. some of the most memorable rogues gallery than mm. any other character in fictional history. Damn. So, 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 dig, dig, dig a little deeper, man. Stop taking the stuff at the mm. surface because it's it, you, you, that's lazy. That's mm-hmm. lazy to me. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, so Batgirl's Leslie Grace that views extremely a uh, comic accurate uh, costume. Uh, so there was a lot of coverage on the Batgirl film, like literally every week you heard oh well here's some footage here's some footage and like it's like you guys keep showing us all this stuff and like can you save it for a trailer or something you know so uh batgirl star leslie grace who plays the main protagonist barbara gordon batgirl has revealed the first full look at her uh, comic book costume uh she shared a photo of herself sporting the batgirl suit and it posts on ig uh, captain it was a quote from dc's batgirl year one i use their expectations against them that'll be their weakness not mine let them all underestimate me and when their guard is down their pride is rising let me kick their butts so that's the costume um i guess i don't know i didn't know they were gonna go this old school at least to me i don't know i'm not a comic book guy so i thought maybe it'd be something a little bit different maybe to like the animated uh, series maybe but uh what do you think eisen uh, thoughts on the costume um, i think i mean nothing wrong with the costume yeah it's pretty um accurate on that I, I just think that you know it don't mean shit if the story's crap <laughs> right 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 all right um anything trunks on the costume for batgirl um no not really not this time okay lawrence what do you think they can say comic accurate all they want to but it's not it's a ripoff from 1966 yvonne craig's batman and the tv batgirl in the tv series the original Batgirl costume is radically different. Okay. Not well, not radically, but it's different enough that you can tell a difference. How about that? Yeah, I um, think, but they have gone back to this one in recent ones. Correct, though. Yeah, more more, yeah. more similar. I, I won't say. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we, because um, because in all actuality, the original Batgirl's outfit was black and gold. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. I mean, you. I mean, you could pull it up and look at it. That's right um so so this purple this purple and blue thing you are right eyes and this is from the current no, yeah, it's not purple yeah it's, it's yeah it, this, it's this is from the current right batgirl comics and like i said you can see it's a direct ripoff from yvonne craig and if you if, if well you take that photo 
Yeah, if you take that photo right now that you have there and you pull up another screen with Yvonne Craig from the 1966 Batman TV show, mm -hmm. you'll see it. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just Yvonne Craig wore it better. She had the body for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you think of making on the costume for the next uh, Batgirl film? Uh, I like it. It looks dope. That's that's all I really got to say about it. Uh, yeah. Fascist. Let's go. Ha. <laughs> 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 yeah. Alrighty, let's see what we got next here. Uh, this is for oh, one thing. One uh -huh. thing. One thing. Real quick. I'm sorry. One thing. Real quick. Yeah. You should always be worried when they go out of their way to constantly show you scenes from stuff you shouldn't see yet. Because they have no faith in the film. They're trying to get you excited about other stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that, I said, it don't make nothing if the story's crap. Yep, that's that, right. That does make you, because once they start bombarding you with stuff like it, they kind of might be scared it might not do well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because because any movie's worth its salt. They try to keep under wraps like all oh, Get Out. They don't want nothing leaking. Heck, they, yeah. want you to go, they want you to go in and see it. So that's what I'm saying. It's you know That makes me worry when I see stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But is it me, or it just seems like trailers nowadays almost show you the entire film, or you can kind of piece together like what's yeah, that's true. Go, like it, it used to be like back in the day, like old old, <coughs> film, like you, they show their trailer, but you were kind of like what, like they they would piece it apart where you did not know what was going <clears throat> on. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, uh, Eisen, go ahead. This is yours, I think. All right. Um, so um, this right here uh, is about basically uh, they revealed the top ten uh, streaming. Um, oh, I don't know what this one on the computer here, but they re revealed the top ten streaming uh, anime for Japan in twenty twenty one. I don't know why. Hold on. Okay. For some reason it froze up on me, <clears throat> but. Um, they, they revealed them, and the top 10, you know, is pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, I think that um, th there's, what, what four or five of them in here? Well, four, definitely, that are definitely expected, um, with uh, Demon Slayer being number one, mm -hmm. Jujutsu Kaisen number two, um, Attack on Titan made four, uh, My Hero is seven, and then One Piece is nine. Um and uh, it's basically um, what they were getting at that um, <clears throat> these aren't just the most top ten most streamed anime series in Japan. They're just the they're they're the top ten television show stream period <laughs> in Japan. Um, you know, with um, live action series such as uh, Solitary Gourmet, Walking Dead, Squid Game, and all that ranking high, but not being able to crack the top ten. Uh, so uh, it's showing how popular anime is in Japan, and. Uh, that's all. Oh, yeah. I mean, Demon Slayer's been packing. I mean, although I would yeah. say that Attack on Titan's breaking the internet, like literally Funimation, Crunchyroll, we talked about that last time, that uh, those applications broke down and crashed because people wanted to watch Attack on Titan. Um, Demon Slayer's doing great this season, so yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. You know, everyone's still kind of hype about Jujutsu Kaisen, especially with the movie coming out, so not surprised there. Um, Tokyo Revengers manga wise is doing really well. And, you know, people really love the season uh, anime. Uh, you know, what's funny is Case Closed, because that show has been still ongoing, just like One Piece. Yeah, it's, it's still it's been going on a long time. The, the fact that it's in the top 10 and it's been that long of a show, that's pretty, that's a lot of props. It's pretty amazing. I have to give you props yeah, there. So this list is pretty, it makes sense from what I'm seeing here. So this is a pretty good list. Yeah. That's my thoughts. Um, what do you think, Trunks? Oh, I mean... Yeah, nothing too surprising here, to be honest. I'm just surprised that, like, wait, no. Yeah, wait, why isn't One Piece higher? Why is it at number nine? I'm surprised that Evan Evangelion is still at, um, is right. at eight. I mean, that is. This is Japan. So it's not U.S. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess so. But, but still. There. Well, you got to think their their style of entertainment is going to be different from ours. So, right, right, right. I don't know, bro. I thought One Piece was like the epitome of like everything yeah. in Japan. Like I thought yeah, about it's it was, you like, personally. Cool. <laughs> it, yeah, it was it's you personally. before like seasonal anime just yeah. like blew up. Before, yeah, One Piece was dominating like crazy. I don't know. 
I, I really wasn't a fan of My Hero Academia or that time I got reincarnated as a, reincarnated as a slime. So I don't know. I'm just yeah. I'm, I don't actually, know. I'm actually with you on that. I I did I tried yeah. watching slime. I I couldn't get into it, but yeah. I see. I never heard of it. Um, I do I do want to get back on Case Clothes again. I thought it was pretty decent. I need to watch uh, Attack on Titan. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I have, I have been enjoying Demon Slayer. Case closed. Though. Yeah, Demon Slayer yeah, is great. Yeah, it's probably too. Uh, it wouldn't be you anyway, so. <clears throat> would you recommend it? I, I, you know what? I so would. We... I actually like it. <coughs> the episodes I've seen, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think, Lawrence, <laughs> on uh, any of these? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. You're fine. I've been coughing. Um, like I said, I, uh, I'm just at the way it, it, amazed at the way it broke down. I mean, I, I get there's a difference between you know what Japanese culture and American culture defines as entertainment or good, mm-hmm. but it's amazing how all the top ones on the earlier list for searches is pretty much on the bottom on this one because mm-hmm. one piece one piece was number one on on the other on the search list from the uh, earlier article and yeah, my hero because, academia yeah it's because americans only care about a glorified fight fest so yeah makes I sense. can't say you're wrong can't say you're wrong <laughs> i cannot say you're yeah, wrong. yeah writing all this shit. i mean real story yeah. hey man one here. piece has like an amazing storyline okay hey um i i have a <laughs> question yeah, I, I have a question, um, and I'm sorry, it, it's going to go back um, a little ways. Mm-hmm. The Pokemon Legends Arceus mm-hmm. game, when is that supposed to come out? It's coming out next week, Friday, I think. Somebody's got a live stream playing it right now. Uh... That would mean that would mean that they have an authoritative. Uh, that would mean they have an, a, a right, a copyright. They have a contract with Nintendo to do so. Yeah, either they okay. have because contract, doing yeah. Nintendo games, you can't do that without a contract. You, I mean, you you, you literally okay. have to be able to do that shit. Right. right. Usually, there's an embargo when before you can even do that. But yeah, he might have. Okay. The person might have a deal with Nintendo or something. Yeah. They well, I, I just wanted to check because he's been streaming so far for two hours playing it. So. Yeah, you've got to um, with Nintendo. Okay, all right. Like I just, I just wanted to check and make sure our information was right. <laughs> so uh, that's that's why I wanted to know. Uh, okay, well, uh, what do you think about on this uh, top ten uh, streaming uh, shows? I think that um, it's pretty much uh, solid. I, I have no issues at all with them. So yeah, definitely makes sense. So. These are top rated <clears throat> animes. So yeah. I think the biggest thing to take away from it, they just weren't the top ten in anime in Japan. They were just top ten, period. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. 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 I definitely agree with that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so last but not least on Rapid Fire, I'm just gonna kinda spew these out. Uh so we have a real steel series coming out on Disney Plus. Uh based on the movie with uh Hugh Jackman, that's coming out on Disney Plus. Um uh, making a show on that. Also, we got a, vamp- a new Vampire Slayer, new Buffy the Vampire Slayer coming out this year. Um, I don't know why, but whatever. Ugh. And we're getting a new Squid Game season two. Not, not really shocked on that one, you know, based on the season one success. Um, also, we're getting a Godzilla MonsterVerse TV series on Apple TV. So, um, a couple uh, releases there coming out like crazy uh, this year. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what's good, what's bad. I mean, we'll see on that. Also, we got uh, Tales of the Walking Dead spinoff uh, has begun filming their first season uh, this summer. Which I, honestly, I I tapped out of Walking Dead a long time ago. So yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna stay out of that. I mean, I liked it when I originally came out, but after a couple of seasons, I was I was just tired. Honestly, that's my thing. And uh, that's all we have for rapid fire for this episode. Uh, once again, we are available on Spotify, Google Podcast, Stitcher, Anchor. You can check out the links. In wait, wait, the wait, 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 huh? wait, 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 wait. So, 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 no comment about IDW. I don't get to make fun of them yet another week. Oh yeah, you can go ahead and roast them uh, before we go. I mean, I'm just saying, you didn't even call out my, my article, man. You, you know what? I'm, yo, oh, look, man, I'm tired. You, you, you troll like I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, damn it. I'm tired. Here comes the G4 I'm TV. I'm tired. Oh, yeah, right. Keep putting the old man last. <laughs> Keep forgetting to talk about his articles. Make him just roll on out. I, 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 I,
<laughs> shout out to uh, Lawrence Shout out to Hunter because Hunter actually uh, does the timestamps for these podcasts. So yeah, you're thank you, Lars. You're gonna get that on the timestamps for this episode. <laughs> Y'all can check out the timestamps on every episode. Uh, shout out to Hunter. He he does the timestamps for us. Um, so if you want to quickly go to a conversation, you can. You have that option. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, appreciate everyone in the chat. Uh, who showed up episode next episode will be next month probably early february i'll let you know in the discord on the community tab and yeah we will see you guys later have a good rest of your weekend and a good week all right ladies and gentlemen of the jury we all live through the 70s the clothes the music the heartwarming but rarely amusing Ziggy cartoons. Now, later, who are we to look at these two fine young men and say, you there, I sit in judgment of you. Riddle me this. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Hadouken! Your soul is mine. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. Force of Tyrannosaurus! The soul of Or the stone pudding or something. I mix up some herbs and I come up with a dandy glass of this bicarbonate of fig leaf. Yo me got it! Nibi that But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Always winterize your pants. Your soul is mine. By your powers combined. You seem to be well grounded in the case file, Detective. But there could be more to the case than meets the eye. Why so serious? Riddle me this. Haven't had a lot of company in a long time, but if I were expecting some, I'd whip up a really uh, substantial meal. You see how strong I am <laughs> from eating all of this stuff. Ore wa. <laughs>